divide 5.6 times 10 to the negative 7. I want you to divide that by 7.0 times 10 to the 6. Okay? So uh, copy this down as your numerator, and this is your denominator. All right? And write this problem down by itself, 5.6 over 7.0. And then we'll have uh, this part of the problem. Let's make this into 56 and 70. Move the decimal over one place on both of those. And what's negative 7 and negative 6? This goes up to the top as a minus 6. So you have this. What's negative 7 and negative 6? You add negative 7 and negative 6, you get negative 13. All right, so I have to take 56 and divide it by 70. Move your decimal straight up here. This goes 8 times 70 is 560. So this is going to be 0.8. Okay. Now, this is not scientific notation because 0 0.8 is, is a small number, too small. It's got to be at least 1. Okay. In other words, this is 80 cents. To be scientific notation, I need at least $1 and less than $10. 80 cents is too little. Okay. The decimal has to go over one place to have 8. Okay, 8 is in between 1 and 10, isn't it? So I want to have 8. Okay. Now, I moved it over one place, didn't I? Now, why did I write a negative exponent? Because this is a little number, isn't it? Numbers smaller than 1 get negative exponents. I moved it over one place. With a small number, it's a negative 1. Of course, you wrote negative 13. Now you have 8. And 1 and 13 makes 14. So final answer, 8 times 10 to the negative 14.